Good morning, Fiber friends. I'm Nicole, also known as Witchin underscore Knitting underscore Mama, and welcome to or welcome back to my podcast. Today, we're going to look at my Make Nine uh, for 2023. I did set myself some goals this year because last year was kind of chaotic. It got to a point where when I'd finish one project, I'd look at my queue and I wouldn't know what to do, and it would look overwhelming to me. I think a lot of people have that problem. So if you're in that group, I understand. So this year I decided to go ahead and do the make nine for my stash. I need to stash down. It's one of those years. So I actually put together bags. I have these wonderful, I believe these are five or 10 gallon bags, plastic bags that I keep all of my designated projects in. And that's great because I can see the yarn. I can, if I print the pattern off, I can see the pattern. Um, some of them you'll see even like the total yardage of the yarn in the bag and um, like the pattern name. So that way I can just easily pull them out. And I, I do have all these living in one particular bin together. So um, let's just jump right into it. Um, first up, we have the Astrology. Shology wrap by Christine Parker Co. This is a really fun project. Um, and I've actually told a couple of friends of mine that they need to do this project just because I would love to see everybody else's interpretation of this shawl because the way that Christine set it up, it is your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. So you go on Google, find your chart based off of your time and date of birth and location. And then you pull your signs and based off of your signs, you can go find your color palette that is associated with your sign. So like my signs are Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. And so what I did was I used, this is clear water by pineapple yarns. This is Earl gray from wonderland fibers or excuse me, wonderland yarns and fibers fibers said that wrong. And I'm sorry. And then for Aries, I'm going to be using, um, this is Solar and Cascade Heritage Wave. So um, I had picked a different color for Aries originally, and I decided to do this one just to get it out of my stash. So I'm going to hold it double. It is fingering weight. Um, I think this is a great stash busting project. If you have, you know, just one-off skeins of DK or fingering that you can hold double. Um, it is a free pattern on Ravelry, and Christine outlines in the pattern um, gauge doesn't matter. You just kind of go. So it's, it's easy charts, knit two together, yarn over. It's, it's great. And, um, if I do another one of these, which I have a feeling I will, because I'd love to do other colors that are in my signs palettes. And so I think, I think that this is just a great project. I may do a make along in the summer to see, to kind of generate a little bit more, um, interest in this because this is like the perfect witchy knit you don't have to be in the same aesthetic class you can be neons you can be you know vintage you can be soft palettes and pastels you can do whatever you want to with this project i think it's a really cool project so if you haven't looked into it definitely do that so next up is the venus flat trap shawl and it is by carrie oster and it's just, a, it's another free pattern on Ravelry. I'm trying to get these minis together because they're all kind of out of order right now. I think this is right. I'm sorry if it's not. And I have this beautiful mini fade set and that's not in the right order. So I apologize. I got this. This is Roasted Eggplant from Pineapple Yarn. The um, pattern is a very simple kind of color melt shawl. Um, it's garter stitch on size three needles. So it's, it shouldn't be too, too difficult. I'd love to get this one done in time for fall. If I could get this one done for SAF this year, that'd be great. Cause I'd love to wear this to SAF. Um, it's such a rich autumnal palette. And I think that's the reason why I fell in love with it. It's, it's Halloween, but not terrible, you know, not overly in your face Halloweeny. So there's the Venus flat trap shawl by Carrie Oster. Next up we have these are my big boys, my big boys, <laughs> Miss, Miss Babs, <laughs> yowza. <laughs> so this is um, going to be the Campside Cardi by Alicia Plummer. It's a pretty popular pattern. 
and this is Coral by Miss Babs on her um, Yowza DK base, and so I've got plenty of yardage. I really like this one because um, it's long and it's summery, and I picked Coral because a lot of my summer t-shirts are black, and my bathing suit is black, and I think that this would be a really kind of nice contrast to that. Um, I have started looking at my accessories more in terms of I wear black predominantly pants, shorts, t-shirts, and tops. Um, and so what looks good on top of that? And I have actually changed my entire outlook on buying yarn in the future. So that will be the Campsite Cardi by Alicia Plummer. Next up we have, let's see, the Summer Flame shawl this is by um the noble thread i believe her name was caroline she's no longer in business but she was an incredible natural dyer and um she had a store in wilmington north carolina that was fantastic and then so that's the that's what the shawl looks like and i'm sorry there's some terrible glare so you got a little bit of color here there's some tassel work going on and these are the colors it's beautiful turquoise and it's coordinating minis and then this beautiful dusty pink with its coordinating minis and so all all four colors are used in the shawl I'm really excited I've had this one in my stash since Lord. Carolyn still had the store Carolina still had the store open and so I want to say that was summer of 2018 or 17 so it's it's been in deep stash and I need to do it all right Lotus Flower Beanie by Bee Knits Handmade. And this is this is the remnants of the first Lotus Flower Beanie that I made. And I loved it. I sold it to a friend of mine, which I had no problems with. She loved it too. So I'm going to use up the rest of this yarn. Um, the Lotus Flower Beanie is nice because if you use two, two skeins of Rasta, it uses both skeins in two hats. So I'm hoping that this will finish off these two skeins really looking forward to that um that pattern is rough on my wrists because it uses like a size 13 needle so i kind of want to do this one soon just so that i can get it out of the way and i could use it this spring or winter all right what's next so we've got the paint pan cowl by um very warm stripes also known as wendy staples i think she's one of my favorite new she's not a new designer but she's new to me and um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that the paint pan cowl was the one that I used my mom's hand dyed yarn and gave it to her for Christmas. So I am going to do another one. I love this pattern. It's super easy and it's great to use up minis or like your little one off skeins that you have because it's you use it for whatever. It, the colors always look good in it as long as they're not dark. So I pulled all of my Christmas skeins. So there's three. There's three more. There's a few more. So two greens. And then remnants from my festive AF VBAC tee from the beginning or the end of 2022. And then I've got a lovely ball of Impeccable Speckle, one of my favorite DK weight yarns. Um, super easy to use. It's 100% acrylic, very soft. Michael's go-to yarn. So I'll be holding these double, and that is my contrast color. So I'm hoping to get that stained glass effect again. Um, and I think that this is going to be great. I believe I'm going to give this to my aunt. So this is the probably one of the last one of my make nine that I'll do since it's the holiday themed and not feeling very holiday-ish in January right now. And then my last two. I don't have the yarn for yet. Um, it is currently en route from Australia. So I'm going to do another VBAC tee by Knit Osophy. And I have decided to do a beautiful mint chocolate chip colorway by Rainbow and Sprinkles from her ice cream parlor collection. And it is more of a neon mint than it is a subtle pastel um you know, a lot of the neat, uh, the rainbow sprinkles, not rainbow sprinkles, mint chocolate chips you see out there are a lot more subdued. They're a lot calmer and quiet, and hers is a more pow. So I've got, I'm waiting on those to show up, and then I've got to get some 
Cascade Heritage in the color Bark for the contrast on that one. I think that that will lend itself very well with the um, dark chocolate speckles in the mint chocolate chip. So that's the v back Tea by Knit Osophy. And then to go with my v back Tea, y'all, I make it an entire outfit. Excited about this. Um, I'm going to do the Tan Line Shorts by Little Wolf Knits, I believe is her username. Um, same thing, the body of the shorts will be the mint chocolate chip and then the waistband. And I think I'm going to do ribbing at the bottom of the, the leg holes um, in the in the bark color too. So I'll pop in pictures if I can figure out how to do that. I am still a novice at this whole YouTube editorial thing. But um, that's my make nine for 2023. I'm really excited about all these projects. I'm extremely motivated to get these done because they're long-term queue projects that have been in Ravelry for a while. Oh, I'm missing one. I'm sorry. The Ridgeline Duster um, by, who was that one by? Sorry. Knititude. Knititude. The Ridgeline Duster is a lovely, long, calf-length, split-hem um, duster that I'm going to use these beautiful Karen Crystal Cakes on. I hate that they did not bring these back and these are discontinued. I have several colorways. This is a very light, fluffy yarn. It's an air and weight. Um, so I've been, I think that this is going to knit up gorgeous, you know, my little witchy cake. So yeah, that one's number nine. Um, and I'm looking forward to this one too. Like I said, these are all ones that have been stash. Everything is stash yarn. And then the patterns are all ones that I've had in queue for a while. So I've got my make nine on Instagram, which is where you can find me. You can also find me on Ravelry at Sea Turtle Girl, G R R L, not G I R L, um, to see the progress on these. I do I update Ravelry a lot. I know that it is not user friendly for some people, but um, I like keeping track of my progress. I like taking pictures and I like seeing the the development of projects as they go. So um, stick around for the make nine. Stick around for the 50 States Project, and hopefully next week we'll get into some fun. I've got some storage solution ideas coming up, um, so I'm pretty pretty excited about those. I may geek out a little bit because I like I like storage solutions. I like being organized. Um, it doesn't look like it because we're in the midst of packing up stuff to move with spring, but it'll be fun. So I hope everybody has a great day. Um, hang in there. Much love to you all.